So I think, I, think the, I think the biggest thing I wish somebody would have told me about the industry when I was younger was how big connections were. Um, when I came out, my head was so far down because I, I thought that if I worked harder, my career would move faster. I believed that wholeheartedly when I was younger. And I had, you know, I was signed to ICM, I was going to meet with Paramount, I was, going to, I was up for all these feature films, and I was meeting with all these big people that I never would really have a chance to interact with. Um, and then on the other side, I was with Ski at the time, DJ Ski at Ski TV, and we, you know, I was moving around meeting all these managers and people and things like that. And part of me was just, you know, it was my ego just being like, oh, I don't really, you know, I'm just going to do my thing. And then another part of me was, you know, believing that if I worked harder, then it would just get there. So I didn't, I didn't believe in interacting. I didn't believe in, you know, having coffee and things of that sort. For me, it was just, if it didn't move right away, then there was no benefit. Um, and as I got older, I realized that you have the best work in the world, but if you don't have the contacts or you don't have, um, you know, good relationships with people, they don't want to work with you, you're not going to work, you know, so... Um, so that's the one thing. And, and people did tell me I just really didn't listen or really grasp a hold of it the way I should have. Um, I'm like, yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Send them an email. Hey, what's up? You know, well, it's okay, done. Yeah. But um, yeah, just genuine contacts and just people just keeping everybody at, you know, at arm's length and, and, and letting them keep you at arm's length as well and, and being able to be um, accessible for, you know, it might not benefit you. It might not benefit you for 20 years. You I mean, you know, nowadays I, I, I get 100 emails a day and I reach out to everybody and I just try to help out as much as I can because I don't, I don't, you know, not that I ever want anything in return, but I don't know. Um, you just never know what, what, what these contacts may, may lead and, and where, vice versa, where my contact may lead them. So, um, you know, that's, that's the one thing I wish I would have heard, not necessarily been told. I just wish I would have heard it a little bit better. I mean, that was a big one. That was a big mistake for me as far as the connections. Um, not really taking, taking a hold of that as, as seriously as I should have. I mean, I was also put in some situations where um, they wanted me to, to kind of play the back and, and they would have work, work out the, you know, the contact things, but I should have still been able to, you know, kept those going. Um, and, but like I said, my biggest mistake, I think, up to this date was just kind of losing myself as far as what I was really doing out here, what my purpose was, um, and, and staying grounded in, in all the, all the you know, things I was, I was brought up and taught, you know. Um, you know, I, I think you move out to Hollywood and, uh, you, you know, fast lights and the, and the girls and the parties and the celebrities and the, and the interviews and this and that and this and that, and, and eventually you start thinking you're God's gift and, and you really forget why you're here, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, my thing has always been to give back to kids, to have kids, and, um, and like I said, to, to be able to provide for them a life better than what I, what I had. That was the only goal. That was the only goal, you know? And so that was, a, that was a, I think, a big mistake, just on my end as far as being confused, you know? I, I, not necessarily that it hindered my career. I was just so confused on what I was doing. So you just wake up not knowing exactly where you're going, you know, and um, it's one thing I wish I could change. If I had a chance to talk to my younger self, I would tell him, the world doesn't revolve around you, you know, uh, and, and it's not so much what, you, you know, others can do for you. Think about what you can do for others. Put yourself second, you know, just humble myself a little bit, you know, um, that, that would probably be the, the one thing I, I would definitely just, you know, when you're young and you think the world revolves around you, and then as you continue to believe that and you continue to fed, fed this energy, you know, eventually the world does revolve around you, but the world's very small when it's like that, so. Thank you for watching A Wise Way. Subscribe to stay updated, share to pass the knowledge, or view our other videos on the left.